thing. Another thing that we can do would be to sort our table, maybe by week number. Maybe we want to see the week number first because that's the greater container we have here, right? We have a week and then inside each week, we want to know for each store, which employee we have. Maybe we wanted to have country before the stores. If In this case, we only have Canadian stores, but if we had different countries, maybe we wanted to see the country first. So if we want to do that, let's just edit our query data, queries and connections. This is the query, the second one, double click there, and we can do that. So we can come here to the week number column, right click and choose move and say move to the beginning, to beginning. Okay, there we go. It's sorted the columns for us. And uh, for example, if you want to see the country first before the store, we can do right click and move. I don't want to move to the beginning because then it will go before the week number, but I can do move left. Okay. And then now we could then sort ascending by week number. And for each week, maybe we wanted to sort by country, although in this case doesn't make much sense because it's just one country. And then for each country, I want to sort ascending alphabetically by city. Can you see how we get these little numbers here? One, two, three. So uh, this is a little bit different to what happens when we are filtering in uh, Excel. Because when we filter in Excel, when we apply a filter to a column, it changes the filter we have in the other column unless we use custom filter, right? Here, it keeps the, the sorting we applied. So in Excel, when we sort one column and then we go to another column and do apply a sorting there, unless we are using the custom sorting, custom sort feature, it will undo the sort we applied to the first column to do the sorting we are asking for the second column. In Power Query, if we do them all one after the other in the same Power Query step, if you see here in the M code, it only has one sorted rows step, and then it gives us the order we are sorting. We apply the sorting to week number column first, and then country, and then the store. Okay, so, so that's it. Close and load. So now we have our data nicely sorted there by week number all the weeks ones and then twos and threes and so forth.